Hey guys, welcome back. So we are into the third installment of uh, Craft With Me, basically, uh, for 20 minutes. So uh, in the last video, I said I was going to do something pretty generic that I was fairly certain a lot of people had. So what I did was I took some scrapbook paper and some of it was scraps, some of it was not, and I just took a two and a quarter inch scallop punch and I just punched out a whole bunch of papers um, and I figured these would be really great this paper pad happened to have been really close and this one was my scraps that I was using for um, for previous journals and it's the Stamperia paper it was the back page so half of it is the advertisements and the other half is well the pretty paper. So anyway, I'm going to use these scallops as a base um, and we're going to go from there. I'm just going to start grabbing them. I'm actually going to flip them over this way and we're going to start at as a base. So you can keep going and make it bigger and bigger and bigger, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a trick with crepe paper if I can remember how to do it because it has been a very long time since I have made a I think I'm doing it wrong yeah there we go all right of course I decided to wait until I started recording to do this uh, why I have no idea because I'm glutton for punishment, I guess. Uh, we're going to do one because this is taking a lot longer than I had anticipated. And you just keep folding it on itself until you end up with... I used to be really good at this. I used to do it all the time. Now, as you can see, I am struggling something fierce. Um, okay. But after you get the groove it is definitely easier to do. So, we're going to start over. Stella got her groove back. And I'm just folding over and rotating at the same time. And keeping my finger down on this center piece because that is where everything is going to be joined. And I'm going to keep rotating. This is some craft colored crepe paper. I actually found this at uh, the Dollar Tree, believe it or not. Um, uh, normally, the crepe paper that I find at the Dollar Tree is like interesting colors, to say the least. So when I found this one, I was like, whoa. And I got two packages because last time I found a really cool color and I used it all and then I went back to get more and I couldn't find it. So I'm going to pinch this whole part right here and this is not going to work. Um, and I'm going to grab my big stapler and staple right in the middle. And it's okay if you don't get everything because we're going to glue this down. This is just going to hold it still so we can play with it, okay? Um, I'm going to throw my stapler back over here. All right, so now I'm going to glue that straight down just like that. Okay, and we are again going to use our glitter glue. And I'm just going to put glue on this. It's going to be easier, I think. Okay. And it doesn't matter which side you put down because you're going to essentially cover up this side too. So that's what it's going to look like on that side, right? And then this side, bloop, this side is where you get to have fun. So I did pull out my little thingy here because I wanted to try to do this effectively or quickly and efficiently. But I don't know if, oh, look at that. It does work. 
quite nicely, actually. All right. So we're going to pull that off. And this is going to stick really well to this crepe paper. And we're going to use this as a background piece. So we're just going to lay that right down. Just like that. See? Very cool. Now I want to see if I, and I pulled all of these out of the packages because it's just so much easier to look at and there's lots less, um, what did I do? Okay. Um, there's a lot less to, sorry, I'm clicking stuff on my camera, um, to try to, what am I trying to say? Mess with. Jeez, my knees. I could not spit that out. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know if I want um, square on square or rectangle on rectangle, but I like traditions. That's pretty. I like tag too. Story. That's nice. Go story. All right. And then, voila. And there you go. You have yourself a cute little embellishment. Now this can go either onto something because you got this, it makes it really easy to go onto, or you can write on the back of it and stick it into a journal pocket just like you would any other journal card. So we're gonna make some more of those, but we're going to eliminate the, uh, the ruffle part. So I'm just going to use this right here as a background I'm going to just start placing some stuff down and hopefully um, make this work. And this is why I picked these other stickers because these stickers have backing and it makes it very difficult to work with. Uh, you can also use doilies. I like that. We're going to do that. I use doilies for everything, man. There's a reason I have doilies all over the place because I love doilies. You can use lace. I have lace bits that I have cut up. All right, let's grab a lace bit. I know I just put that down there, but that's okay. It's still going to poke out the side a little bit. We're just going to cover this all up. All right, we're gonna put our lace bit down. And then we're gonna find a nice pretty sticker. You are always on my mind, forever in my heart. That one's pretty, I like that. Cover that one. And we're gonna put some extra glue because this is going on lace. And I'm just using art glitter glue here. I know I haven't decorated my bottle. It's coming. All right, so there's another little cluster right there. So the next one, this one here, let's grab another doily. And I just have like a small stack of random doilies, no rhyme, no reason. They were on my desk, so we're using them. All right, let's put this one here and let's see what are we going to put with this one um i like this this one here so let's do that one uh you know what i think i want to use some of this crepe paper but i'm going to use a bit of it not a whole bunch of it i'm just going to put it right back there and you can also do this if you have scrapbook paper that you're not too, too fond of uh, because you're essentially covering it up right there. Okay, I'm going to do another layer here. And I just made it opposite of the crepe paper that I just put down. And I like the teal bird instead. Let's go that route. And let's go off to the side just a little bit. 
or we could do a cutty corner like that. Either way, it doesn't really matter because wherever this ends up, we can decide the direction later because it's a circle. It can move. All right, so there's another little cluster. Poof. Done. All right, hot pink. What in the world are we going to do with hot pink, you say? Well, we're going to cover it up. That's what we're going to do with it. So I'm going to take a smaller doily this time and push down. And then, ooh, this one's nice. I like this one. That's pretty. And it matches nicely because there's pink in the clock and there's pink back here. All right, so we're going to put glue all over this and we're going to smush it down to where it hits that first layer, hopefully. So obviously this is going to take a little bit more time than the ones did with the blingy blings because, well, they are pick up glue, pick up glue, pick up glue. This one is arranged a little bit and, you know, you do want your stickers to kind of coordinate. So there's that. Let's see if we can find a smaller one. Here's a hope sticker. That's a nice sticker. Oh, that's not a hope sticker. That's a that's a big sticker. Okay, let's see if we can find a smaller one. Let's go. We'll do that one. Okay. And it helps to start out with products that you like. I mean, obviously with the paper, you can use papers that you may not necessarily like, but if you're using stickers, obviously you want to start out with stickers that you like. Um, it gives you a very good starting base. Use laces that you like. Um, they don't have to be the most expensive things in the world. I was telling a friend of mine earlier today, cut up some old curtains that you have, cut up some, um, old clothes that you might have. Uh, I have different sizes of this little, like, I literally just, like, opened up my spool and started snipping all around. Um, but open up, you know, or cut up your, your old clothes that are tattered and torn. And my heart broke when she said <laughs> that she threw it all away before she moved. I was like, no! <laughs> oh, I was like, no! say it ain't so but you know oh, everybody's got to learn at some point but you know we don't keep everything I, I don't keep everything there is a lot of stuff that I donate throw away get rid of I just don't use my kids and my husband and everything they you know they've kind of stopped asking me hey do you want this box hey do you want this box because I ran out of room, just pure and simple, ran out of room. Um, and it's just, it makes it really hard when you've got so much, you know, I could do this with that, but you don't have enough time to do the, I could do this with that projects, you know? So it, it definitely makes it hard, um, for sure. Oh, that's a Valentine's. Oh, I like that one. Uh, our memory, our memories, you and me. That's pretty. I like that. I like the lace though. So let's add the lace back here and then put the sticker up there. You're still going to see the flowers poke through the lace. And then where'd you go? There you are. And, and these are just some stickers that I've had for many, many years. And if you don't like the 3D aspect, you can break them down. There's just foam 
in between the layers. That's it. Foam tape. And you can break those down. And normally, if they're going into um, a junk journal, I will break them down. If they're going into my photo albums, I won't. Because my photo albums, I have gussets in between each page. Uh, okay. I'm going to glue my fingernail. But I have like, um, I normally only do half an inch gussets on my pages and my photo albums. So that leaves me a lot of playroom. That's pretty. Okay, let's do that. And and this is stamp period. It's the back room, um, the back page. Remember when I was saying that there's a bunch of advertisements? That's what I mean. Like it's not double sided. It's single sided. Technically, it's double sided, I guess. But the other side is not very pretty. All right, let's grab. These are my lady, my lady stamps. She's really pretty. Um, oh, this is huge. I don't know if I want pink on pink on pink though. That's really pretty. Let's see. Could probably do that. I like that. Um, anyway, I have these in the shop. They are available. I don't remember what letter they are. I'll just have to look around. Um, but they are in the stickers and embellishments tab. Um, so if you hit shop, there is a there's a category. If you're on my website, there's a category at the top of the screen where you can choose which category you want to look for. And if you're on my Etsy shop, it's all the same store. If you're on my Etsy shop, then um, it's on the left hand side. Someone asked me once where my digitals were. Those are in my graphic designs folder. Oh no, I broke my sticker. Ugh. That's okay. We're going to fix it. I hope. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And then, to take a step further, we can add this teal to kind of cover up that whoops. And... You can always fix your whoopsies. You don't have to start over. It may not be what you originally thought or wanted, but your whoopsies can come and they can end up being some of the greatest things that you've ever created. I really like the feel of this. It feels really cool because it's not soft like fabric, but it's not stiff like paper either. Anyway, so there's that. And I have two minutes left. Can I make another one? All right, so here's this one and this one all right and let's see what kind of sticker are we going to use i don't know what kind of sticker we're going to use um, no don't go all blank on me now. Save the date. Uh, you're always, uh, I don't know. Oh, get out from underneath there. Uh, let's use the bird. I like the bird. Yeah, and she matches the paper in the background. Okay. All right. All right, I got less than a minute left. So, what did we do in 20 minutes? We made a ton of embellishments. Not as many as last time because we had to do some arranging and such. So this is one we just did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
Oh, we did make another one. And nine. So in 20 minutes, we made nine embellishments that can be either used as is, or they can be used as centerpieces into a larger project, such as a cover or spine. So I hope you guys are enjoying this process, and I hope that you're having fun and sharing what you're doing. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what everybody is doing or hearing about what you guys are able to do in 20 minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.